Well, hello, soul family. <laughs> Beautiful rising. Good afternoon and or lovely evening to you, wherever you are, depending on the location of your rotation. <laughs> Thank you for stopping by my channel. This is our daily chakra energy reading and today is Sunday, soulful Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Sunday, September 22nd of 2024. So, not only is it Sunday, the start of a new week, it is also the first day of autumn. Today is the fall equinox, so the start of a new season. And it is also the first day of Virgo season, at, uh, not Virgo, I mean Libra my bad libra it is also the first day of libra season so look at all these shifts happening a trifecta of shifts happening on this day so beautiful new week new season new zodiac sign energy so we are stepping from earth energy into the air energy and yeah libra so happy birthday if you are a libra celebrating your birthday today and yeah let's get into our energy like what is the chakra energy for today all right so yeah i love it i love that there's like all of these shifts i love that they happen how they synced up how it just happened to sync up on the start of a new week the start of a new season and the start of you know libra season as well so i love it all right okay this is so interesting so this um affirmation when i was shuffling before i started the video this one showed its face and i was just like oh okay yeah and now look it just popped out so our affirmation for today is from the secondary chakras knees check out the healing symbol card number 113 modesty and thought and action allows the wisdom within me to grow modesty in thought and action allows the wisdom within me to grow all right so very exciting so the secondary chakras knees has to do with our abilities our ability to teach and to learn so modesty and thought and action allows the wisdom within me to grow so that is tuning into our ability to learn so let's read what the book has to say all right <clears throat> so modesty and thought and action allows the wisdom within me to grow meaning many people believe that modesty is quite nice but it's easier to be successful without it however just the opposite is the case when we understand exactly what modesty is but first in order to eliminate the most frequently prejudice the most frequently pre prejudices I, I don't know if it meant if it's meant to say frequently or if it's just supposed to say in order to eliminate the most frequent prejudices. But okay, this does not mean that you should deny yourself fair payment for your work, and it also does not mean that you should put yourself at a disadvantage in comparison to others. And you don't need to hide your accomplishments. So what exactly does modesty mean? Quite simply, being able to let go. Don't cling to your works tasks and responsibilities or relationships to other people finish and ex and experience what is important for you take what truly belongs to you and then leave the situation without causing any shattered remains to be left behind of course you should examine whether you have truly had all those experiences that are necessary for you modesty has nothing to do with flight healing stone emerald praise and tires iron tiger iron <laughs> tiger i was gonna say tiger's eye but yeah um emerald praise and tiger iron fragrance essence ylang ylang and the box flower is heather and chicory so yeah so modesty does not mean that you should deny yourself fair payment for your work and it also does not mean you should put yourself at a disadvantage in comparison to others so 
you know, with modesty, you know, oh, yeah, no, go ahead. Um, that's fine. No, you can go ahead and like, I mean, putting yourself at a disadvantage in comparison to others, like allowing yourself to step back so that others can step forward in front of you. You, that's what I'm kind of like feeling with this. And think of how many times you have done that. And I don't mean like something like, like, oh, I've, I've opened the door for somebody. Like, you know, we're all walking in this building and I open the door and let somebody else go in first. Like, that's just nice kindness, <laughs> you know. Um, but it seems like it is in regards to a sense of when we are putting our effort and our work into something and it comes to, you know, maybe be evaluated or whatever, and we put ourselves at a disadvantage compared to others, meaning we, you know, like we maybe like praise other people's work in front of our own or, you know, allow someone else to, you know, get the job or promotion or raise or whatever it is in front of ourselves. This is more like, no, be proud and step forward. Step forward when you know you have done really great work or when you know that you have a great idea or whatever. Never be afraid to put yourself first. And so what's very interesting is that this is number 113 and that adds up to a five. And the thing that is popping into my head is actually in the tarot. There is a five of swords and in this card it's, also, it's often represented as a negative thing but what it is actually showing is somebody who is putting themselves first ahead of others. And uh, this is what I'm feeling with this particular um, affirmation is, you know, like allowing yourself to step forward, allowing yourself to put yourself in front of others. And it's very interesting, actually. So it's funny that that pops into my head because we are just stepping into Libra season. And yesterday I did the air sign readings and that card had came out during one of the air sign readings. And so I'm seeing this synchronicity here, this little alignment. But yeah, so yeah, never put yourself behind others. Allow yourself like, know that you are just as worthy as the next person to have success, to have happiness, to have whatever it is that you desire. So, yeah. All right. Well, this has been another of our affirmations for this very first day of autumn, this first day of the week, this first day of Libra season as well. So I hope you all found something that resonates with you. And if you did, please remember to hit that thumbs up and share this message with someone who needs to hear it. If you are subscribed to the channel, I want to say thank you so very much for allowing me to be part of your journey. I love you, I appreciate you, and I'll see you in your next one, or, well, in the next one. <laughs>